Yes? OK. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining today. Um, I've called this session Open Space uh, for Wikimedians in Residence. Um, this is going to be a one and a half hour presentation of 97 slides. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, uh, very much a workshop. Um, my hope is to distill a bit of the best practices, the key questions and uh, skills that are needed for the Wikimedian in Residence program. It is going to be a bit interactive, so I hope you guys are ready to chit chat with each other. Um, <laughs> Before we, before we get started, I'd like to do a little check-in with everyone. Um, so the way this will work is you'll have one minute to think about the question on your own, then two minutes to talk to one other person, so you're in a pair, two minutes to talk briefly about the question together, and then four minutes to talk to in, like, in a group of four. And then I'll try and pull a few examples from a few different people, and then we'll get into what is open space technology and what is this workshop and how can we um, get something from it. So. The question is, um, what word describes Wikimedian in residence for you and maybe a little bit why? Does everyone understand the question? Okay, so you one word and a bit of why. So think about that question for 60 seconds and then I'll say time is up and find a partner to talk about it with. Starting now. Okay, one minute's up. Find a partner to talk about this word with and a bit of why. And you will have two minutes starting now. Two minutes. Okay, two minutes are over. I'd like each pair to find another pair and share again, so maybe it'll be in groups of four. Just pick, uh, pick another pair nearby and start, start again. And you'll have four minutes starting now to talk in a group of four.
Okay, a few more seconds. Just finishing your sentences. And wrapping up. Okay, I'd like to hear maybe just a little summary from this group, maybe some keywords, some description of what you talked about. Um, a couple of us came up with the word of ambassador, um, but then we also had, was it relationship builder um, and trustworthiness? Um, because these are important features, you know, the relationship is really important, the trustworthiness for the Wikipedian, and some of us feel, you know, when you're there, often you're talking about wiki projects to people who've never heard of them, and so you're acting as an ambassador, and yeah, but these are all different aspects of the same thing, really. And what about you? We had, uh, we had at large, we really like Mike's job title, of Wikimedian at large, and uh, thinking at large, the big picture. Uh, we had enlightenment in, the, in bringing the light to the content and the light of the content to the world, and consultancy, the point of, of this is a respected person brought in as a peer to existing experts, not at the bottom of the... Uh, uh, organizational chart and uh, uh, mine was liberation, liberating the content, getting the content to fullest potential. And what about you? Um, so, two of us independently came up with um, facilitator, uh, because obviously it's that's you know you're facilitating people to do something or another, um, and we also had expertise and um, helpfulness, which we agreed was quite similar to the kind of facilitator idea as well. So, yeah. Thank you. And over here. I, uh, we had Babel, as in Babelfish, for being able to interpret. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, and uh, yours was interpretation? Integration. Integration, sorry. My, this is why I was trying to pass it on, because my brain's starting to fall off. And what was yours doing? <laughs> yeah. Mine was stressful. <laughs> uh, yeah, just the, like uh, because there's lots of us now, we're starting to see like shared common issues to work on, like structural issues. Yeah. Uh, I'm not a Wikimedian resident, so I say cool. <laughs> okay, perfect. Did you guys do it as well, or are you just observing? Um, we're mostly just observing, but yeah, uh, like I, I, I'd second her. I, I think it's very cool. Um, I, I guess something I've always thought uh, Wikipedians and residents do is kind of make paywall paywall sources more accessible. Like you know, use the knowledge that you might not otherwise get as a random person who doesn't have access to those institutions. So yeah. Uh, yeah. And e even though I'm the room manager, I try to chime in as well. On top of cool, I say gravitas. It's like yeah. okay. Those are some great words. Thank you, everyone. Um, OK, so today's session is really, I really just want to create this open space for uh, us to discuss the topics or the questions that might be existing uh, in this room and amongst Wikimedians and residents in general. <laughs> um, the way this will work, so open space, the most important thing about open space is that the agenda really gets set together, that if you have something that you think is important or that you're curious about or a question you might have, that it becomes part of the things that are, that are open for others to discuss and contribute to. I have some materials for capturing the conversations, basically just papers and pens, <laughs> so uh, that the conversation goes somewhere and then I'll make sure that that gets digitized in an accessible way. Um, we have a menu, the menu for open space, where I've at least proposed two subjects to start off with uh, that I've kind of picked up from other uh, Wikimedian in residence conversations that I've seen throughout the week. Um, and those are uh, sustainability of the role and arguments for going open. So the, those are just uh, starting points and see how the conversation goes from there. Um, the way we'll do it is kind of in two rounds, so there'll be 20 minutes first and then another 20 minutes after that. So there's an opportunity not just to work on one thing, but you can move to another. Um, and so first, let's uh, spend five minutes to see what other questions, subjects, curiosities you might have that you want others' input on or that have kind of come up recently. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Mike. Conflict of interest accusations. That's a 
good one. Uh, I'm a, f well, I'd say, recommended in residence to be. <laughs> so, I'm basically working out the contracts uh, or the contract between the two or more organizations, actually. So my kind of interest here would be to know about the easily avoidable pitfalls or problems that you can like, yeah, easily avoid. Thank you. Anyone else for the mic? Yeah. Uh, my question is about how do we make it uh, uh, perennial, successful in time? Like most of, most of, not all, but most of residencies are short term. And um, what after that? It's more sustainability of the action, the relationship with Wikimedia when, because yeah, it's a big movement and and it's something I tried to run during very hard during my two residency and uh, I failed successfully. Uh, I think this is another element of sustainability in terms of like this is a job that can be very technical and need a lot of different skills. And how do you build that up when most residencies are quite short and precarious and not secure and underfunded and all the other things? Um, yeah. Oh, uh, my question is how to handle when you, uh, how to manage when you lose the confidence in yourself because the uh, <laughs> development of t uh, tools and other technologies is very fast. So sometimes people uh, try, uh, if you lose this confidence, how to, how to catch up with it. Uh, my question was what to do after the project. Like we at Wikimedia, Wikimedia Serbia had many Wikipedians in residence but what to do after it ends? Because after the workshops and everything, uh, staff at the institution just doesn't get it. Okay. Uh, I'm only the second uh, Wikipedian in residence in Finland, so it's very unknown position. So how can we make the organizations know about these possibilities? Uh, for me, what to do you consider effectiveness in our work? Uh, what do you consider that you are successful and why? I am interested in it. Thank you. Okay, so that was success in the role and like spreading m marketing troll? Marketing. marketing the role, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, so there have been quite a few proposals obviously already. Um, the way this will work is we have 20 minutes. Those who proposed something are nominated as the host for that conversation. Um, if you would like to start by hosting in the first round, please raise your hand. One, two, someone else? Three, okay. So those three conversations are the three first three, which are conflict of interest, marketing the role, and this one, relation to WikiWorld, temporary to permanent. Yeah, OK, temporary to permanent. So split into those groups, and I'll bring a piece of paper to, to those three. Thank you. 
Okay, everyone, as we're getting closer, start to think about what you might want next steps to be from the conversation. You've got about four minutes left, so I'll try to capture what the next steps might be, and in four minutes we'll circle back. Okay, everyone, finish your sentence. <laughs> OK. 
Okay, thank you everyone. So that was round one. Um, I'd like everyone to stand up. <laughs> okay, and slightly just move yourself into a different part of the room and just pick a random chair and sit down again. <laughs> Okay, moving to another chair. Just pick another chair. Don't worry about your stuff. It's not going to go anywhere. <laughs> okay, so um, I'm going to grab those papers in a second so that we can document them. Okay, so the topics that we haven't talked about yet, although maybe some of it came up in this discussion about moving from temporary to permanent are um, sustainability of the role, arguments for going open, so this is like how to convince an institution, um, the pitfalls, that might be a bit more of like a crowdsourcing thing, like what are the, what are the pitfalls that individuals have experienced, um, building capacity for the individuals, so is this a learning thing from the institutions or from Wiki and how do we build people's capacity, managing self-confidence, what are we doing after a Wiki meeting in residence, um, and measuring success. So those are the topics that are left. You know who you are for hosting. What sessions would we like to do for the next 20 minutes? Raise your hand. Yes? Pitfalls, okay. Yes? The ar sorry, I didn't suggest that the arguments for going open. Yes. That, that would be something yeah. I'd like to do. Yeah, okay. Maybe one more. One more. Conflict of interest, we've already done, but we can continue ah, it. Oh, sorry. No? <laughs> Lucy? Um, I'll put a vote for self-confidence. Okay, so we've got three. Thank you. So I'll distribute some more papers and um, go ahead and split up. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, folks, there's about four minutes left in this session. So try to capture some next steps and conclusions.
Okay, folks, start to finish your sentences, and then I will ask that those big pieces of paper come with this one up front, and then you guys can come join us towards the front of the room again. Thank you. <laughs> and we've got one last activity. Thank you. Okay, folks. Thank you. Um, if I could get you all to come sit up here in the front of the room again. So for many, this was maybe, well, for me at least, but maybe for others, this was the last session on the last day. So I'm, I'm very grateful that you <laughs> came with your energy and your participation and engagement. So thank you. Um, OK, I have one last question for everyone, which we're going to answer in the same way that we did the check-in. Um, so spend one minute uh, contemplating the question on your own, and then in a pair, and then in a group of four. Um, this one might be a bit easier. What do you take away from this session? thinking about, you know, what do you want to do, what's next, a little bit of that. So what do you take with you from the session? Does everybody understand the question? <coughs> okay, so one, no, not one word, just what do you take with you from the session. So one minute, think of it on your own, and then find a partner. So 60 seconds starting now. Okay, go ahead and find a partner. Again, the question, what is it that you take with you from this session? Everybody find a partner. <laughs> okay, and you have, there's someone here. If you can't find someone, just yeah? Okay, two minutes starting now.
Okay, if we could get the pairs to find another pair. The groups of two now merge with another group of two so that you have a group of four. Each pair should find another pair. Yeah? Are we merging well? I see this group of four is not moving. <laughs> you should find another one. No, you need two and two. OK. <laughs> so four minutes. Okay, thank you everyone. That's been four minutes. Maybe we could get a little summary of what you guys talked about. What are you guys taking away? Uh, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, so we, uh, what's our summary? Um, it's very hard. Being a resident is very hard. And the most, Im and in ways that we c sometimes don't imagine when you're going in, both personally and professionally and in terms of the community. But what we seem to have taken away is that there's a lot of solidarity available and that the peer network um, is really useful but could be stronger and could be easier for people to find. Um, and that's, that's where we're at. You, what about over here? Um, I, at the end, I said the open space method I like very much, and I want to thank you because in Wikimania, there is too much for me, it's too much 
people talking and then we, we don't have enough time to for us. So uh, thank you. Thank you. What about over here? Um, okay, so uh, my my personal kind of takeaway from this is that um, un under that kind of umbrella term of a Wikimedian residence, it, there's lots of variation, lots of different things, lots of complexity. Um, there's very different models of, of residencies that require different skills, different strategies. Um, and, and you guys were saying like, the output of this session is ideal documentation for anyone wanting to kind of look into this and become a resident because it's exactly the kind of information that you need when you're thinking about becoming a resident or setting up residencies. Um, and that's something that should be packaged up and sent out and shared with the world, essentially. Um, and the other thing we said was like, um, it, more in-person meetups like this where residents from different organizations can get together and, and just chat and give each other tips and that kind of thing. Yeah, is there anything else? Spreading the message internationally and thinking if there are not just national publicity, but are there international organizations? Creative Commons is one, but also scholarly organizations um, and things like UNESCO and UN. Uh, can we get the message out that can they say that having a Wikimedian is a good thing and in each country is having reached so far? Thank you. Do you want to give the mic back there? <laughs> One take takeaway is, I guess, places of places to commiserate together and complain together uh, <laughs> can be valuable, uh, both you know in person and online. Um, we did we did that a little bit uh, pre-COVID. It took a bit of a break, but maybe it's time for some more of those types of meetings as well, as well as you know sharing experiences, complaining about your employer, um, you know, complaining about the community. <laughs> Sometimes it makes things a little easier. So. One thing that I thought was really interesting, what you said, was around, like, how much are we worth? Like, is it, like, junior research position, or is it social media manager money? <laughs> <laughs> well, I prefer the second one, please. Thank you very much. Uh, but, like, if we're reaching a similar audience to, like, mm -hmm. uh, a very successful social, me social media set of accounts, mm -hmm. then is that is that the bracket? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, thank you. Pass it over to this this group there, yeah. <laughs> thank you. No, uh, I I have to thank all the brilliant colleagues I met today for sharing the, the problems that are or my own problems, and uh, hope uh, to to see you in a future occasion, but n n not uh, very far. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So maybe there is a Telegram chat or something. <laughs> Any I heard there's one for GLAM, but... It yeah, there's one for GLAM. But maybe specifically for the residents? Yeah. Or is there one specifically for residents? So mm. let, let there be one, no? <laughs> okay, any other takeaways? Okay, so, m so my... Oh, we have one more. Yes. Uh, when we start a safe call, now I can add it's... Uh, complex as <laughs> well <laughs> <laughs> yeah but uh, and uh, again thank you very very much uh, for uh, sharing all these uh, things uh, together and i hope we'll see these uh, papers on commons as well uh, mm -hmm. to share it uh, later yeah thank yeah. you thank you well for me thank you everyone i will do my best to get this online as soon as possible so that it can it can uh, create a foundation for more things to blossom and grow um, if you want to get in touch with me and the work that I do for the Open Culture Program in CC, feel free to reach out by email. Just grab my card. Um, but it's just Connor at creativecommons.org, so it's also pretty easy. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.